Okay, so in this video, I will show you how to run any LLM models in Google Colab. Now, this is useful for a number of reasons. One of them is that if you don't have a GPU and want to experiment to run LLM models, you can run the LLM here by using GPU provided by Google Colab. And the second reason is that by running it on Google Colab, you can run the LLM model on any device that can access Google Colab. So from anywhere, not even your uh, laptop, maybe you can run it on uh, your tablet or your phone. So that is the advantages of Google Colab. Now, the, the disadvantage of using Google Colab is that you always need to download and install the required library because the data here is not persistent, it's not permanent, right? Um, so, while well, we can keep the code here in Google Colab, but the data and the library is not safe anywhere. Okay, you need to remember that. Okay, now first, before we start coding, let's change the runtime to use the T4 GPU. So, runtime, and we change the runtime type. And we choose the T4 GPU so that it can run faster using GPU. Okay, we hit connect. And if I remember correctly, this one, uh, the T4 GPU has about 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Okay. Oh, uh, yes, right. Uh, it has about 15 gigabytes of VRAM. Okay. Next, we need to open the terminal so that we can download and install Olama. Uh, Olama uh, as a platform to download and host our LLM models. Uh, you can run the terminal here, but yeah. Um, if you don't have Google Colab Pro like me, that's fine. We can use the alternative by using library called Colab Xstorm. So let's install that by using pip install colab x term okay let's run this okay nice next let's load the colab x term by using this command load colab x term Okay, let's run this. Okay, next, let's launch it using this command, xterm. Okay, let's run this. Okay, now we can uh, type your command here. Okay, now let's install Olama to host our LLM model. So we can go to uh, Olama. Let's search uh, Olama, Olama.com. Let's go here. And then you hit download. And then pick the one that we want to install for Linux and then we can install this using this command let's copy the command and then we paste the command here so copy and paste okay and then we wait for the download so we hit enter and download the Olama okay now we wait for the download to complete Okay, now let's run Olama and also download our LLM model. So let's say I want to use Llama 3.2, I can write the command like this. So Llama 
serve and lama full lama 3.2 okay let's uh, search for the models so let's go to lama 3.2 and yeah lama run so, so we just want to pull this lama pull lama 3.2 okay and we hit enter okay now we need to wait for a minute before we proceed to the next uh, command Okay, now it's pulling the uh, the model right now. Okay, success. Okay, so let's see using all llama list. Okay. Uh, okay, so now it's okay. All llama 3.2 latest. The size is only 2 gigabytes. Let's see. Uh, all lama show lama 3.2 okay so okay the parameters is 3.2 billion okay nice okay uh next let's download all lama library for python so we can download the library using this command pip install olama so let's do that pip install olama okay let's run this okay okay nice okay now let's uh, test our model let's test Okay, let's write a simple Python code. Okay, let me just copy and paste this. Okay, so let's try this one. Okay, so what is the capital of France? And the capital of France is Paris. Let's try another one. What is a uh, pandas data frame? Okay, let's run this again. Okay, so pandas data frame is a two dimensional table of data. Blah 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 blah. Okay. 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 Okay, I think it works perfectly fine. And now you can try and install other LLM models from Olama. Okay. And yeah, you also need to remember that every time you want to run LLM models, you need to install the uh, libraries and the models all over again. Okay. Okay. So I think that's it for this video. I hope it's helpful and thank you.